What up? What it do? It's your boy JDQ with Vision Eye Beauty TV Short. And in today's episode, we have the headlines that read Sexy Red and City Girls have have ratchet rappers gone too far. The internet has spoken. This article is by theroot.com. But before we get right into it, a quick reminder if you watch the scrolling banner below me, there are multiple options on how to bless myself, my family, the team of this channel, or this channel itself. So, um, that being said, just take a look at that scrolling banner. And if you can and want to, you don't have to, but if you can and want to, you can bless myself and this channel through those options. Getting right into it. Um, <clears throat> with Sexy Red and City Girls being criticized for being too raunchy, we ask, is Ratchet Rap almost over? My neck, my back. FMC turned viral podcaster Kia has gone viral once more, this time for a feud with new St. Louis sensation Sexy Red, who just sold out an arena in her hometown over the weekend. Um, <clears throat> there's a few like posts, um, whether it be like on Instagram or, or, or X. Um, but it says over here, it's a battle of generations. While Kia wants to make it clear that Sexy Red shouldn't be compared to her, at one point, the neck and back singer was compared to Lil' Kim for her <laughs> raucous lyrics and sexual bravado. Before that, Kim was compared to Millie Jackson for the same reasons. Gen Z gave this style of rap a name. The P-word rap. I'm not going to say the word. But is the genre a thing of the past? Who even knew that it was a thing to begin with? As it turns out, everybody. It's drivers of the hip hop subgenre of mostly southern based braggadacious get money by any means necessary are the city girls whose debut LP City on Lock came out during the summer of the pandemic in 2020. As the P word rap became bankable, others emerged, including Lato, uh, Sakiana, Glorilla, Lakia, and the, this year's breakout star, Sexy Red. It is arguably an answer, though not the answer, to the once male-dominated and often problematic industry. Somewhere, though, P-word rap sparked its own debate about whether it was about women's empowerment or the obje objectif <laughs> I can't talk today. objectification, objectification, dear God help me, of black women. Um, one TikToker received backlash for her opinion from fans of the subgenre, including Sexy Red herself. Um, last Friday, the City Girls released their sophomore record, Raw, which they revealed on the red carpet at the BET Hip Hop Awards to be an acronym for Real Ass Whores. Its first week, the, pro the project moved a disappointing six to 8,000 units, and hip hop timing is everything. When the City Girls made an appearance on Popular Morning Show, The Breakfast Club, DJ Envy suggested that the project felt like a summer record. Um, one vintage record dealer and fan of the City Girls agreed with Envy, but went even further in her apprehensive about Raw, saying she felt strange with all that's been happening in current affairs, especially in Israel and Palestine. Do I really want to listen to songs about popping my mm, and tricking my hmm? Meanwhile, uh, people are dying and babies are getting bombed. Due to the sensitivity of her comment, the listener has asked to remain anonymous. On the other hand, St. Louis rapper Sexy Red is experiencing major success off her two big singles, Pound Town and Ski Yee, and half the time of her contemporaries. She's gotten major collaborations, including one from Nicki Minaj. If you're looking for serious cypher ass raps, I ain't. The City Girls worn on their intro to the album, and then they go through a list of names such as J. Cole, Kanye, Foxy Brown, and Queen Latifah and further offer the disclaimer. You can turn this album off right now. All you're going to get is some scamming, tricking, P-word rap, period. Uh, there seems to be a gritty sound emerging from the North, headed by girls such as Maya, The Don, Lola Brooke, Scarlip, and best in show battle rapper Miss Hustle, who just signed with rapper Jim Jones. That said, fans don't seem ready to give up on P-word rap even if for now they may want to take a break. All right, so real quick, without uh, diving too, too deep into this, um, the fact that this type of subgenre of this genre is a thing, 
I mean, continues to baffle me. And it always will, because I'm not saying you have to listen to something deep every single time you listen to this genre. But, I mean, at the same time, it's it's kind of like there's a time and, and type of genre and, and type of music for everything, right? Kind of like the same way the Bible says there's a time for everything. But is there really... Is it really necessary to like make time for for that type of music, like that type of subgenre of the genre? I don't think there ever is any like logical reasoning behind listening to that type of subgenre. Um, it's just mind dumbing. It's mind numbing. Uh, it's it'll drop your IQ faster than you know the Flash. Like it's it's just bad for your brain overall. Um, but those are just my thoughts and my opinion. Um, it should be completely, that subgenre should be completely demolished. It should just not exist at all. Uh, but the problem is the same thing with OnlyFans. When you have a, even if it's a small crowd or a small fan base that is willing to pay or listen to or even give the time of day to this type of subgenre, it will never die down, uh, at least not all the way. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, that, those are my thoughts. If you guys have any opinions or comments, just please let me know in the comment section below. I, I'm actually genuinely curious to find out and listen to what you guys have to say and what you guys think of this whole situation. Um, but yeah, that being said, please don't forget, check out the scrolling banner below me. Um, if in any way, shape or form, I have blessed you uh, by informing you, entertaining you, or you just like the sound of my voice reporting on this type of news and you want to bless me, my family, the channel, or the team on this channel, there are many ways to do that if you look at and take action with the uh, things in the scrolling banner below me, all right? That being said, uh, this is JDQ with Vision Eye View TV Shorts, and until next time, peace out.